Hi there. So, last time we talked about socialism in a broad sense, and as I mentioned, there isn't just one consensus about what socialism is. There's quite a lot of different kinds, actually. So, today we're gonna get to back, and I'll explain what I personally believe, which is libertarian socialism. So, first off, let's pull out that old dusty dictionary and see what the definitions are here. Webster's New International Dictionary defines a libertarian as one who holds to the doctrine of free will. Also, one who upholds the principles of liberty, especially individual liberty of thought and action. And, according to the American Heritage Dictionary, uh, socialism is a social system in which the producers possess both political power and the means of producing and distributing goods. I guess that's how the American Heritage Dictionary would sound if it had a voice. So, one of the comments I get a lot is essentially, uh, no thanks, uh, socialism only leads to dictatorships. I'll take my American capitalism over North Korean socialism any day. Well, not only are we not for North Korea, North Korea isn't actually socialist, like, at all, and Fun fact. neither was the USSR, according to libertarian socialists, anyhow. Leninists would argue differently, but obviously all of this is coming from the former's perspective. We don't consider these states socialists because there isn't such a thing as a socialist state. There's a really good video by Libertarian Socialist Rants that I'll link to that gets to all of this. Basically, we're libertarian, not in the American political party sense of the word, but in the sense that we don't like using state power to achieve our goals. When we say workers ought to be in control of the workplace, we don't mean just not the bosses, we also mean the state, or anyone else. We don't want the state managing us any more than we want the capitalist managing us. So, what do we want? First, we want the workers in control of the workplace. Second, we want communal stores available to all, for all to take as much as they need of whatever they need. This is an ideal libertarian socialist society. Food for all who need it, as much as they need of it. The same principle goes for all things. Education, healthcare, even leisure and pleasure, if you know what I'm saying. The incentive people in such a society have to provide for everyone else is, well, because benefiting individuals benefits society. The good you put out into the community comes back to you when you need something. A common counter-argument would be to say, uh, what's to stop people from taking everything for themselves? Well, if they can already get what they need, basically whenever they want, there's no reason for them to take more than they have to. Greed and theft only exist in a society where there's enforced artificial scarcity. There just wouldn't be any point to it. Oh, and this might go without saying, but probably doesn't. This system would replace a market economy, since markets are based on imbalance. The whole exchange of goods and services for money or barter would be made obsolete. The point of a revolutionary society would be radical equality of race, gender, sexuality, ableness, more things I'm not gonna list because I'll forget one, and economic equality, talk of which has been lacking in the current mainstream political discourse. And to boot, not only could this work, it has. For a few examples, take Revolutionary Catalonia, the Paris Commune, or the Free Territory in Ukraine, or going on currently, IRL, the Zapatistas in Mexico. I probably butchered at least one of those pronunciations, but I tried. If there's one historic flaw that has done otherwise successful systems in, it's that it's hard to withstand the might of an entire military. Last time, I also mentioned that I'd be talking about communism, and lo and behold, what is this loser talking about? Libertarian socialism? That's not communism at all! Or wait, is it? Well, yeah, according to libertarian socialist, aka me, we've also been known to call ourselves anarcho-communist, or amcoms, if you're a cool kid. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, like, no, actually, thank you so much. 
I do read all your feedback. So if you'd like me to cover a certain topic next, let me know in the comments below. And I assure you, I will at least strongly consider it if it's an actual one. So, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.